Hello my fellow Shogun 2 players, the Rip here, and uh, this is finally my first 40k battle in Vanilla Shogun 2. It was played on rice fields against someone named Omen, and uh, uh, compared to previous opponent, <laughs> he was quite a pleasant uh, player to fight against. Uh, I mean, even your simple, typical good luck, have fun is. It makes games so much more enjoyable. That's why I try to be as polite as possible, because, I mean, it leaves very good aftertaste uh, to play against uh, someone like Omen. For me, at least. And, uh, again, I can't really tell yet if he is a strong player or not. But he certainly does okay. He have a sixty percent win rate, and he is somewhere in first four hundred, I believe. I checked up after the game, so even though the ladder doesn't mean much, we all know that getting uh, up the ladder is much more difficult than falling down. And sixty percent is. Is a good win rate, I think. Uh, it's better than average, <laughs> obviously. Okay then, and this is one of the rare vanilla fights I had where I actually have a plan. Let me start with my composition first and then I will describe my plan. My composition is quite simple. I have much like warrior monks and um, where is it? and mounted gunners for skirmishing. I have these Naginata attendants, like a mid shield on uh, front. Then I have uh, quite a sturdy front line. I have a bulletproof samurai, but with only two upgrades yet. Uh, two Naginata samurai with two upgrades in defense each. And I have, I believe, uh, one Nadachi with two chevrons and uh, two Katana samurai. One vanilla, one with two chevrons. My general is some common attempt, he is very low yet. Then on this flank I have a long Yari Ashigaru with two chevrons uh, and uh, Naginata warrior monks. And I have one more Naginata warrior monks hidden here. Uh, one and two chevron uh, attack upgrades I believe. So I plan to present a strong uh, infantry force in the middle and to get some flanking contingent. These Naginata attendants are meant to get this farmhouse for me. My cavalry contingent isn't weak as well, and it's uh, mounted gunners, two Naginata warrior monks, I believe. Yes, it is. One Yari cavalry and two light cavalry units. Uh, so, let's take a look at my opponent, and the instant I have saw his army, I had a plan just because I saw some tournament games before and I know how uh, the weakness, uh, what's the weakness here. Let's start. Uh, he has Naginata attendants, Naginata attendants to cap the dodges. He have uh, shown three Yariki and uh, one uh, light cavalry. So his cavalry contingent is actually quite scary, but they are not very highly upgraded. So I think I can deal with them. And here it is. He have two more Naginata attendants to cover his front. He has bow warrior monks, uh, much like warrior monks, and much like samurai. So it's three skirmishing units he have, which means all his infantry is Naginata warrior monks with uh, seven upgrades, along Yara Shigaru with nine upgrades. Uh, Naginata warrior monks with 7 upgrades uh, and 2 Naginata samurai with 8 upgrades each. So it's only 5 strong uh, infantry units. Only 5. Compared to my uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. Of course my units are weaker ones, right? But uh, there is just so many of them. So my plan is... What I... Uh, from the beginning, I wanted to skirmish a little bit with my mounted gunners to lure him closer here so that my matchlocks can shoot uh, from a side 
I don't want to use them on the front anymore because of these uh, balls. And when I get make sure that I somehow isolated his cavalry, I will just rush him from the all from all the sides. Well, more or less, I didn't have a clear plan because, as I told before, I can't really measure the strength of units, and I don't really know how strong this Yari cavalry contingent is. So let's take a look at how it goes. I try to do something with my mounted gunners, and somehow he charges right at the moment when I try to uh, scare his bows away. And uh, because of this charge, I have to control my cavalry much more intensively than I wanted. And I forget about these two light units, uh, light cavalry units, so they get decimated here. Uh, at the same time, this um, unit of light cavalry decimated as well, so it's two light cavalry units for one, uh, for no reason. But at least I managed to control my uh, Naginata Samurai to stop this charge of Yaru cavalry, so I protect my swords and somehow zone out his cavalry from here. And uh, what is... I will stop this for a second. Uh, despite me losing my light cavalry, I still managed to get uh, some results here. Well, first of all, uh, he had to send one uh, unit of Naginata Samurai to face this long Yari Ashigaru and Naginata Warrior Monks. This is two very scary units, even so they're not upgraded, they can kill. So he have to send one strong unit to protect his side. And look at this. Cavalry fight starting, so he have to manage it. And at the same time, because of this light cavalry, his uh, middle is completely in complete mess. You see, all his units are out of pos they They do... They just... Uh, as I said, they're in complete mess. And what, what that means is, he cannot use his uh, matchlocks and bows as effectively as he wants. Just because I messed up... Uh, his forces here. So he tries to somehow engage here, I don't know. Maybe he wanted to use this Naginata Samurai against my cavalry. And here my march looks actually getting some very expensive kills. But oh no, no not very expensive at all. So let's take a look. Cavalry fight starts and this is seemingly, uh, from what I can tell, this is difficult for us boss. I'm not very um, good at controlling uh, vanilla armies because I don't really have a plan which unit should attack which unit, I don't know. And here, as you can see, I kind of mismicrate. Uh, he cut my cavalry off from my general and my mounted gunners. And I have to run, and at the same time, when I looked at this, I noticed that... Uh, my mounted gunners and my general actually fast enough to run away. And I decided, what the hell? Uh, and I just <laughs> sent uh, my uh, two Naginata warrior monks and my uh, remaining, uh, my uh, Yari key, even so it's depleted. I sent them here, in, uh, I tried to use them in the main fight, while my general and mounted gunners run. I just hit here. And you see, just because I have so many units, <laughs> and Look at this. Naginata warrior monks and uh, Naginata samurai fight on this flank. Two of his... Oh, he, remember, he have only five infantry units and two of them here. Three of them here, but from these three, this Naginata warrior monks protecting his back. So only two units of his expensive... Uh, uh, it's this Naginata samurai and this long Yarash girl. Only two units really fighting in the middle. So all of my forces uh, are coming, uh, attacking his general now. And here, I don't know how this happened, but my mounted gunners managed to rout two units of uh, Yari cavalry, maybe because they were so depleted. And the uh, remaining unit of uh, Yari cavalry, very soon I will be too bored of running away from it, and I will just counter charge with my general. And I, I still... Z2 units... 
I still cannot uh, find a spot to charge back of my opponent just because he have uh, such an Aginata heavy build. So I get rid of uh, the last Yari cavalry of Omen. And now... And you see, despite being such a... In such a uh, low numbers, uh, his units just refuse to die. You see, my units even started wavering because his general is in state and in stay and fight in the middle, as I understand. But now that I got rid of his cavalry, I am getting my general closer. And honestly, now I don't care if all of my units die here. I have my mounted gunners. I have my much like warrior monks, and he have no cavalry. So with my general. And these two much like units, I can kite him all day, but it it wouldn't uh, it will not be necessary uh, because slowly but surely I'm getting to his general. But man, si this level eight units they just refuse to die, and that's you know this is partly why I prefer Fall of the Samurai. Just because it's much clearer, you win a fight by positioning. In uh, Vanilla Shogun 2, you still win by better positioning, but bet by better control. But sometimes there are some... He can pop up something like... Um, how, how does it called? Stay firm? I, I don't remember. He can pop up some of that ridiculous skills. And uh, they don't rout. I mean, what the hell? It's like uh, some cheat, I mean. Uh, I understand that uh, everybody can have that uh, skills and uh, they are very expensive. Uh, you have, uh, it's a nine level skills. But still, it somehow reduces the importance of um, positioning. Even if I have a uh, clean back charge, for, uh, with my cavalry, for example, it doesn't matter. Uh, he have a hold firm and uh, he will not rout. He have banzai. He will not rout. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm awful with my nadaches. The I I'm not sure if I uh, he, uh, <laughs> remember to hit my banzai even once. Uh, I always forget that. I think I will just pop it up at the beginning of the fight, uh, just not to forget it. Ah, oh, man. And there are a lot of things that I don't understand. For example, uh, Boki and uh, these mounted gunners. They, they never shoot at the target uh, that I order them to. They, choo uh, they always shoot at closest target possible. Uh, which is strange, uh, very strange. I don't know if it's intended behavior or a bug. And, man, uh, this Omen, he understands what this game is about. In the end, he wrote well played GG. I mean, that's what you do. Because if I lose game, I usually write GG just because it's a game. If you got overplayed, you got overplayed. Well, maybe sometimes I've I don't do that. Yes, we all get frustrated. But I like this guy. I like him. <sighs> so, 300 man difference. Uh, significant difference and uh, uh, difference in kills are only 150. And uh, that's probably what won me the game. That and uh, look at this. Omen, look at this. Matchlux, 60 kills. Bower Monks, 50 kills. Matchlux, um, 40 kills. Uh, they say that uh, skirmishing is uh, very weak currently in f uh, Shogun 2. And uh, that is um, probably true, well, at least on this low level games. Uh, I mean, I don't know how high level. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I was just kind of lucky. I have uh, seen a weakness in a build of Omen, and I just pushed that weakness. 
I mean, I kind of, uh, as you can see, I didn't rush him right away. I wanted him to engage into the cavalry fight. I wanted him to have this uh, mm, melee mindset because with skirmishing build, you want to delay a fight. But it's psychological thing. When you start uh, running with your cavalry all around, you feel like you need to do something with your melee. And uh, when your opponent rushes you, and when I, I did exactly that, at some point I, I rushed him, but he already changed his mindset. Instead of kiting me, he took the fight. And um, that is just what I wanted. My numbers were so overwhelming. He got um, two of his units. He had Naginata Samurai and Naginata Warrior Monks. I don't know which one. This and this, I think. Yeah, this two on his left flank. And he won that flank fight against my Long Yaris and my uh, Naginata Warrior Monks. But still, he was out of the main fight, which allowed me to get his general. And just because these units were fighting um, on a flank I get chance to shoot them with my much like warrior monks uh, there is one more thing uh, I noticed in vanilla shogun 2 warrior uh, much locks don't really want to shoot at the back of your own man I mean in full of the samurai you can basically shoot through your own units uh, but here sometimes they just don't want to uh, which is why sometimes uh, you want them on the flank uh, you want them shooting at some uh, side skirmisher skirmishing my mounted gunners did uh, quite well I, I, I still don't understand how they routed uh, those two Yariki, uh, Yari cavalry uh, two of them uh, I don't understand really but they killed uh, surprising uh, kill count surprisingly low. Look at this. I don't understand. Maybe oh, maybe they were in guard mode and had an order to attack my general, something like that. I don't know. I don't. I really don't know how they were routed by mounted gunners. Uh, I don't understand it. Maybe I will look over this replay more. Yari Cavalry did surprisingly well. Yeah. But overall I don't understand uh, this game. It's This time it seems like I won by numbers and uh, by making these three units absolutely ineffective. Uh, this what uh, won me the game. And I managed to split. Uh, uh, that was my initial plan but it, it wasn't that clear. But I wanted to somehow not let his cavalry charge me while, I, while I'm fighting. Because I know how devastating these back charges can be. And uh, you ha uh, as you can uh, have seen, my units were actually wavering in the end of the melee fight. Because my general was away. So one or two cavalry charges at the back and all my army could have just routed. Well, uh, from what I can tell. Maybe I'm feeling it wrong or something. Well, this is so far one of the best uh, games I played in terms of uh, understanding what is actually happening on the field. And if I have more meaningful games, I will probably show it to you. And uh, that's all I wanted to say about this game. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on my channel.